Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength back again with another Accounting for Beginners video. This is going to be very important. I, from reading comments for very, very many years, I realized that I wasn't teaching this correctly. There was a disconnect. Not everyone understands it. If you don't understand this, uh, there's a, cer a certain concept with a negative, negative asset here, or it could be a, a negative anything. If you don't get this concept, do not, I repeat, do not go forward. You, you need to spend uh, 10 hours on this, 20 hours on this concept before you go forward. Money is leaving your business for any reason, all right? It's leaving your business for any reason. There's just, there's money leaving your business. There's money leaving your bank account, your checking account. That would be uh, the most normal thing I'd say. And now, uh, in a business, 99.9, of the transactions happen out of, through the bank account. Either money is coming in or out of the bank account 99% of the time in a business. With money going in and out, when you do like QuickBooks and you do a QuickBooks re and you go on the register or you make uh, entries, it already has, it already knows the money's going in or out and it already has it as a credit or a debit. So you're making up the other determination. So this is very, very, very important. So there's gonna be a couple concepts in this that if you don't understand, do not do not jump forward. Sit here and watch other videos on this. Watch, I have many videos. Watch somebody else's YouTube videos on this. Uh, do some Google researching, do your homework, ask your teacher, uh, ask the, uh, the head bookkeeper, but do not go forward if you don't know this. You have $200 less than when you started. All right, now the reason, the reason you have less money could be for so many reasons. It could be an expense, it could be a loan, it could be a distribution or a draw. It could, it could be paying back somebody, it could be a refund, it could be uh, so many different reasons. And this really came about because I have, I have uh, one of my pop, more popular videos that I started with, it's a, a draw, you take a, hundred dollars out for a draw and everyone goes yeah but what's the what's the other side what's the credit what's the other side of it so I realize that no matter how many times I say this I I, I want to keep going back because there's a disconnect here so you always want to start with where the cash is going what is going on with the cash whether it is whether you're getting more cash or in this case, this has a different a caveat here. So if you understand this, it's, it's, an extra, it's an extra layer on the double entry accounting system. But you gotta know this. Don't, don't just skip ahead and say, oh, I'll catch up later. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Don't. In this case, and, and, I, don't, and, I, and I want you to figure out, because on a journal entry, you're gonna have a debit and a credit on every single journal entry. So I want you to figure out which, whether the money is going in or out of the business, then you're gonna have your debit or your credit, then you're gonna figure out the other side. You're gonna always write on your paper, even when, you, even when you know it. I want you to do this every morning for a month, every morning for a month, right? DC Adler, what does DC Adler stand for? You gotta remember DC Adler, okay? Then, you're gonna start writing out what it is. Debit, credit, asset, distribution or draw, expense, liability, equity, revenue. And you're also gonna write, I love you so much. You love yourself so much. You're gonna say, I'm so proud of you. I am so proud of you. And you're gonna say, you know what? You got further than anyone ever thought you would. And you're just getting started. You know what? You gotta love yourself or else, and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about you. Took me a long time to figure that out, but write some encouragement for yourself. Tell yourself how much you love yourself. So DC Adler, debit, credit, asset, draw, distribution, expense, liability, equity, revenue. These are, if they're going up in value, if they're going, if an asset, distribution, or expense is going up in value, you're gonna debit it. 
If a liability, equity, or revenue is going up in value, you're going to credit it. It's like a conversely, because this is like a T account. If an asset, distribution, or an expense is going down in value, you're going to credit it. Same as if a liability, equity, or revenue is going down in value, you're going to debit it. So that trips up a lot of people over there because they don't realize that you can have an asset can go up or down in value, a distribution can go up or down in value, an expense can go up or down in value, a liability can go up and down in value, Equ your equity can go up and down in value, and a revenue can go up and down in value. Get that, get that going. Now here's what I do. I've been doing this for about 15 years. Here's what I would do when I need to make a journal entry. Now this happens to me too. All this happens to me all the time. Money uh, leaves leaves a bank account. Money. I need to make a journal entry. Um, money. I need to match up to the bank account or whatever. So I say, oh, well, I need more or less money in the bank account. My journal entry or a fact that happened like in this case there's less money there's less money in my bank account there's two hundred dollars less in my bank account what is the journal entry hmm well i know off rip so i'm gonna go like this this is what i'm gonna do i just make a line now i know this is the debit side and this is the credit side so i know that if there's two hundred dollars less in the account i know money cash is an asset i know that it's leaving my account. I have less money now. So I know if, if it was going up, I debit it. But it's going down, so I'm going to credit it. I know that. I just know that. I know that. I know that. So I would write cash 200, and then I'd figure out the reason on the debit side. But we might, you're watching this, you're probably not that, you might not be that advanced yet. So if it helps you, you, are, you already got this written down. You've got this rote memory. So this takes... This will take you 30 seconds, 20 seconds. This is what I wrote this down every every day at my job for the first year, probably at my job. You're gonna start going, boom. You're gonna write debit, debit on the left, credit on the right. You have $200 less than you started. You have any amount of money. I shouldn't say it's just 200. You have any amount of money less. Before this transaction happened, you have a certain amount of money in your bank account. Now. After this transaction happened, you have less money in your bank account. So that means your cash went down, your bank account balance went down, which are all assets. Cash, bank account, checking, savings, that is all an asset. We figured out cash is an asset, and if you have less of an asset, you're going to credit it. So you're going to say, you're gonna say cash. You're gonna say I'm gonna say checking account because I think I think cash is kind of antiquated. Like who has cash? It's like really in your checking account. In your checking account, you have two hundred dollars. Now that's a checking account. Two hundred dollars is an asset because cash checking account is an asset, and you have less than when you started. So that's gonna be a credit. When whenever you're trying whenever you're trying to do a journal entry whenever you're trying to make sense of something always 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 figure out where the cash is going first and that is going to help you so much once you start going with your career here you are going to know off rip you have less money you have less money money's an asset if your asset is decreasing it's going to be a credit boom you got your credit now you figure out why did that money leave? You know debits always equal credits. So you know you're gonna have your debits gonna be $200. So now you gotta figure out why did it leave? And that is gonna be your debit. Or that's gonna be the other side of the equation. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. CPA strength, I'm out.